Well, I've heard my mom say it all the time that she does not like technology. She's not good at it either. But there are so many helpful resources for our older population that are based in tech. So let's get techie and talk it out. With more, it is Bob Brocker, founder of Agewise Colorado, and Karen Pepper Brown. Hello, guys. It's good to have you back. Good Thank morning. you. Yeah, happy okay. to be here. Bob, I'll start with you because um, you started Agewise, and, and that was done for a reason. Tell me about it. It was a very good reason. Um, mm -hmm. I started uh, looking around and, and seeing what was available for people to learn about aging related issues, find vetted, uh, vetted reliable service providers, uh -huh. and have uh, opportunities to attend educational events and all free. And so I thought, well, this is something that's needed in Colorado and I live in Colorado and I've done sure. some other work in nonprofits in the aging area in Colorado. So I decided to launch this and so we started uh, uh, about three years ago and with our website and so that's why we're, we're doing what we're doing. That's right and here you are today helping so many. Now Karen explain what you're passionate about and when it comes to supporting older populations specifically. So I am absolutely passionate about aging and technology. I mean, and I really see this as the opportunity for older adults to really have improved choice, independence and control. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's just such a broad swath of what's in the aging tech space that it will cover all these avenues, okay. um, transportation, housing, you know, balance and more. And it will be helpful to every older adult and their family members as well. It will be, especially when we live in such a high tech world. Now, we are going to talk about a few resources today. Let's start with age tech and why this one is important. So age tech, um, as we, you know, we're seeing that we have a, a smaller population of people who will be caregivers for us. And age tech is going to play that role to bridge the gap between those not having quite as many caregivers and really empowering those older adults to be able to make their own decisions, be able to do yeah. things on their own. So this is going to be a critical component for, for the future of, of every person that's aging, every family member, and a part of our healthcare infrastructure. That's right. Now, one of the ones that has been really useful is the Nimble app. And this one can be downloaded on the phone, computer, tablet. It's also free, which is great. Why do you like this app? And, and Bob, is this one that you use? I have used it, yes. Okay. And, and I like it because it, it, it engages your brain at the same time it, as, it, as you're moving parts of your body. And you can do it standing up. I mean, I, I'm seeing the, uh, the replay of what Nathan did a while, a while back. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a really great tool. And uh, I hope that more people will use it and get better balance and exactly. avoid those falls. That's right, and those are resources that, again, are right there um, for our older population to use. Artifacts is another resource to help declutter and organize. What do you like about this one? So Artifacts is a great way to actually take those things that you might have that are heirlooms in the family, post uh -huh. them on a website, create the history about what this is. So your children, your grandchildren will know, oh my goodness, this watch goes back to great, great grandpa and he got it at X, Y, or Z. So it is, it's a wonderful way to kind of create a library of these yeah. things and let the family know what's the history behind this particular thing. That is so cool. Okay, and, and one I actually think is really cool is seniorplanet.org. What can people get out of this website? Oh, Senior Planet, uh, you know, the website and the, they have a facility in Lowry. You know, you can do all sorts of online training. You uh -huh. can do in-person training. You actually grow a community and, and a network of uh, other older adults that you get to connect with. So there's socialization, there's education. It, it is truly, and it's all free. It's free for anybody over 60 years of age. So it, it's, it's a wonderful resource. Why not have it, right? It's available to you, it's free, and you could get used to some of these great resources and improve so many things about your daily life. Now, Bob, those are just a few ideas that people can access with the AgeWise website. What's the easiest way for somebody to get involved that's hearing about this for the first time? Well, I think the, the, it starts with just going to the website and exploring. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have uh, over 425 uh, service providers that we've checked out ahead of time. And on our website, we have a couple of hundred articles on different phases of aging. And we also have done uh, 50 uh, webinars on our, and we've recorded all of those. Those are all on our website. So more recently, we, we did a webinar with uh, one of the leading researchers in the country on Alzheimer's, you know, 
what's the what's the situation with Alzheimer's research and drugs? Sure. Uh, we've done webinars on financial planning and on end of end of life care, on in home care, on um, transportation and mobility, fraud and scams. You know, all so of those much. things. Yeah, there's a lot there. So just get on and explore. Get on that website and everything you highlighted, important stuff. Karen and Bob, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Of thank course. You. We appreciate and it. Absolutely. And remember that AgeWise is there to support older adults and their loved ones and caregivers. To access resources and ask your questions, just go to agewisecolorado.org.